This is a WWV time signal out of uh, Colorado and on 25 megahertz or 25,000 kilohertz. So uh, this is definitely showing that we're moving on to fall and winter. Uh, I rarely get this in the summertime. It doesn't happen often. So like I was saying, uh, summertime is usually not a time for anything 25 megahertz. Just like 10 meters, I've seen a lot of people saying, well, you know, what's this high solar activity? 10 meters isn't open in, in July and August. Yeah, but that's a different phenomena. Uh, you know, when it's, especially at high latitudes, when it's midsummer, um, 10 meters is usually not very good because there's a lot of absorption happening. But as the sun now is moving lower uh, because of the uh, winter slowly coming, um, that, uh, that um, part of the ionosphere that absorbs is actually less and less present. And you end up with, uh, finally, a, uh, a, a better 10 meter band and actually it's starting to show 10 meter bands been opening a lot more into different parts of Europe and um, that's pretty cool and also the, you know the 10 the 25 megahertz frequency suffers the same same thing the high uh, the sun being very high the um, ionosphere being ionized a lot more and also creating some absorption uh, makes the high frequencies um, not propagate 25 megahertz during the summer. When it does here in Montreal, it's because more usually there's some sporadic e-skip happening. But as we move now to fall into winter, this frequency, including 10 meters also, in a 10 meter band, will be a daily occurrence. I mean, usually in the winter, I hear this all the time. So it's kind of fun to see it back. I've been Last time I've heard 25 megahertz WWV was, I think, somewhere in maybe April or May. So it's been a long time now. So it's cool to see it coming back when the change of propagation as we have different seasons. For those wondering what's the other peak at the bottom, it is... Of course, FT8, right here, there's some, uh, some activity, and that is FT8. Back to 25. 